why you can't go shoot in Cape Town for, for five months is possibly because we just don't have the correct support structure in the industry or is it just because you're a mom and it's just something you don't want to do? I think it may be both. Mm -hmm. Our industry sometimes is tricky, mm -hmm. you know? And I really understand though, you know, if producers are under pressure to, you know, to come up with a story in like three months, that's what they need to do. They need to submit in three months. They can't like work around you for the whole film. Good see when you get high like three, like four, you know? Mm -hmm. So I really do understand because it's a very fast paced industry and yeah. things need to get done. Yeah. So it's a bit of both to be honest. So sometimes mm -hmm. I'm like, mm, it is production. Sometimes like I actually don't really want to leave my child for that long. Yeah. yeah. But do you think it's getting better for women who do want to start families and still be powerhouses? Do you think it's getting better? You know what? I really do think it's getting better. So mm -hmm. when I fell pregnant, I was on the Queen mm -hmm. and um Mr. Shona, may his soul rest in peace, oh, yes. and and Sis Kony were very, very understanding of my situation. Mm -hmm. I sat down with them and I was like, Okay, so this is the situation. I don't want to make my pregnancy um public i really would like to enjoy it with like my family and friends mm. in private so how are we going to work around this how are we going to shoot mm. and they were very like accommodating you know they would crop me <laughs> nicely <laughs> nicely yeah you know so they would crop me nicely yeah, yeah no it didn't show up but obviously you know how people are in social media is people are like oh no but why is her neck darker why is her oh, nose so big you know oh. so a couple of and it's always women which is very concerning it's always women, and it, it like it concerns me. It's like, what is happening why to this world? Like, like I, I think I think it's also time for us to be. Why do we find ourselves in situations where a PhD a man better? And I know that people that are saying, no, we're getting better. We're starting to love each other. But do we really? Do we here? really? Do we really like I'm each other? I'm not so sure. <laughs> I'm not too sure, you know, um, it obviously isn't everyone. There are women who genuinely are for women. Yeah. You know, like you're a girl's girl. And there's nothing wrong with that but we th we have a very long way to go ask me guys the comments people comment nasty things all the time and it's always females you'll never see a man saying oh you're so fat oh your nose dude it's always women and it's like what's wrong with you why are you finding these <laughs> weird things mm. to comment about when there's so many other beautiful things you can say absolutely you know it's almost like I don't know what it is. I can't speak for them because yeah. I don't comment on people that say negative things. <laughs> Do you know? So I don't get it. I really don't get it. Yeah. yeah. Let, let's speak about those those negative comments and perhaps your, your social media in general. Uh -huh. I mean, you're a queen that believes in taking breaks from <laughs> social media. Tell us, uh -huh. tell us the reasons why. Uh, you know, is it perhaps something great for your mental health or are there other reasons that you'd like to share with us? Definitely something that's great for my mental health. Sometimes I do like take breaks like you said yeah, yeah. um sometimes i feel overwhelmed it's very overwhelming the social media mm -hmm. thing like it also gives me a lot of anxiety posting a picture because once you post a picture they're like oh why is this like they nitpick everything mm -hmm. and that does get exhausting yeah. you know because we're all like human beings mm. Mm. we're all human beings and hey man so yeah i think i take breaks because I want to center myself, recenter myself, recharge. Then I go back and I'm completely off Twitter because oh, yeah, it, that place? it's been years. That place? I think I've been off Twitter for like four or five years. It's like so bad, so toxic. It's mm. so scary. I'm like, these people can actually make people like hate themselves. Mm. You know? When did we get here? Where Twitter mm. is such a toxic place that we even call it Black Twitter. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and it never used to be like this. Twitter was so much fun before Instagram. Mm. Yeah, so I'm completely off Twitter. Yeah. Um, for my own good, because you know, to again, I'm like, yeah, 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 bo? yeah. <laughs> and our phone, I'm phone, we understand that. <laughs> and phone. Yeah. So I'm completely off Twitter, and mm. I enjoy Instagram yeah. because it allows you to decide what to, you want to see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can, you know, like mm -hmm. I can sort of, um, unlike Twitter, we when you trend, you're all over. Yeah. So Instagram, you can block a page, you yeah. don't have to see a post, yes, ever. You know, mm. you can close your comments, you can whatever. Mm. So, yeah, I like that platform better. No, I'm exactly like you. Like yeah. I'm, but I'm like, Instagram is my safe space. Rather. I feel like I can be myself completely on Instagram. People always find it shocking. They're like, oh, but Instagram is so artificial. Instagram. I'm like, no, I curate it the way I want to. Absolutely. And people that I don't want in my space are not 
going to absolutely in my space. Yeah. Yeah. Let's let's talk about the protection of your family, of, of your kids. What are your thoughts on, you know, either people that show their children on mm -hmm. social media versus those that don't? I know it's obviously a personal <laughs> opinion. Yes. And anybody can do whatever they want because it's their kids. Absolutely. So what are your thoughts on that? So I think um, people can raise their kids however they want. Mm. Um, but personally, for me, it's not something I'm ready to do. Yeah. Um, mainly because I've been in this industry for very long, you since I was it. a child, okay. you know? So I do get it, and I get how toxic it can get. And I just don't want to put my child in that situation before she's old enough to decide what mm. she wants in life, you know? Because she's still growing, I'm still learning her personality, still learning her, you know? Mm. What if she grows up, she wants to be an introvert, she wants nothing to do with... Instagram, engineering. So I want her to be old enough to decide. If she wants to be on Instagram, then she can have her own page. Yeah. She yeah. Yours, no. Yours, yours. <laughs> right? Although I know she's she's such a bubbly, bubbly, bubbly person, yeah. but I just don't believe that being bubbly is for strangers or the whole world. Mm. She can be bubbly for her family, for her friends, people around us. It's fine, you know. And do you think that time will ever come where, you know, because I mean, the, the other side of social media and showing your kids is the money side of it, right? The campaigns, True. you know, being able to make a living out of it and maybe even teaching your kids skills at some point in their lives about entrepreneurship and getting that back. Do you think it's something that's going to change for you or you're like stern on, look, once she's decided that this is what she wants? It might change. Yeah. I'm going to see. Hey, buzz up, buzz up, After three years, it's going up with <laughs> So it might change. I actually, I don't know, but this is how I feel right now. Mm. You know? Mm. Yeah. And it's so okay I don't to know. change your mind? Absolutely. It really is okay to change mm. your mind. If this is what you feel right now, you stick to it. And if tomorrow you're like, actually, here's a million for my daughter. Absolutely. Absolutely. Fabulous. We're hanging out with the gorgeous. Omu Hello, loves. I hope all is well. So, Omutle Gala went to YFM and she had an interview um she was promoting her event the mother mother's day off yeah so basically she was speaking about mothers and motherhood and also she spoke about navigating motherhood and as well as social media as y'all know that Mule Gela is one of the few people or many that is not really liked by um social media uh people have a lot to say about her and yeah so she spoke about how social media um has not really affected her but how it how people portray her on social media and also how they like try to find her imperfections and comment on her imperfections and she said that it's mainly women that have a uh, have something negative to say about her as y'all know that omushe gela has been trending for her baby daddy situation and also it was one of the highlights of season one of the Mummy Club when Nunu Rai asked her on behalf of South Africa, who is your baby daddy? Because there are so many allegations when it comes to the identity of the father of her child. She also spoke about hiding her daughter from social media and she mentioned that it might change tomorrow, but she's mainly doing it to protect her daughter and probably her daughter when she grows up she wouldn't want to be um on social media or something like that so she prefers that her daughter creates her own account when she's old enough and probably like share her own pictures or something like that but yeah please do share your thoughts and yeah any whoosies thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like comment share hit the notification bell for new videos until then take care have a fantastic day bye